And we, of course, on we on have been tracking as to what this announcement of the election means for the people across the length and breadth of India and in the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, which is now a union territory. There were a lot of expectations that perhaps the state assembly elections too would be announced along with the national Lok Sabha elections, but that, of course, did not happen. And our correspondent Idris Loan has sent us this report from Srinagar, listening to what he has to say. With the Election Commission announcing parliamentary elections across the country, there's a lot of disappointment among the political leadership in Jammu and Kashmir. They were expecting that both parliamentary as well as assembly elections would be held together in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. It's the first time Jammu and Kashmir is going for elections after the abrogation of Article 370. And the last time assembly polls happened in uh, Jammu and Kashmir was in 2014 and that's one of the reasons that political parties had spoken to the Chief Election Commission about holding both the elections together. But on the other side, we've also been uh, hearing from our sources that security forces did not give a go-ahead uh, for holding both the elections, especially in the Kashmir region and especially in this uh, north and south zone of Kashmir, which are highly sensitive. Uh, we are also uh, being uh, told that uh, Jammu and Kashmir likely uh, could be going to uh, assembly elections in the month of August, but there will be a that will be a decision taken separately by the election commission. The Supreme Court already has given an uh, order to the centre that the assembly elections need to be held before September 2024. On the other side, the political parties now criticising the government, saying both the elections should have been taken. Uh, that should have happened simultaneously as it will impact the tourism season in the Kashmir Valley as well. With video journalist Feroz Idris Loan for Beyond World is One. And also our correspondent Prasad Bosekar from Hyderabad joined us to explain as to how much the TDP, the BJP and the Janasena type will actually help each other. Listen to what he had to say. Definitely, this uh, remains to be seen because uh, BJP doesn't have a strong ground in Andhra Pradesh as such. They are depending on uh, Telugu Desham Party and Janasena and caste uh, factor works a lot in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so, bo uh, both uh, TDP and Janasena, they have taken caste factor into account and distributed their seats accordingly. So, Bharatiya Janata Party doesn't have that much ground, but they are hoping to cash in on uh, anti-incumbency of YSR, uh, CP government, present government and uh, trying to win uh, riding on the back of Telugu Desham Party and Janasena Party. Definitely this uh, remains to be seen because uh, BJP doesn't have a strong ground in Andhra Pradesh as such. They are depending on uh, Telugu Desham Party and Janasena and caste uh, factor works a lot in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so bo uh, both uh, TDP and Janasena... Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.